Stable Diffusion 3.5 just launched and we're going to check it out about an hour or so ago. So this is pretty early on and they released a post here. So we're just going to go through the announcement here. You could see that they released two models like for a while. Stability was saying that they were going to be releasing Stable Diffusion 3.1, which is going to be an upgraded version of Stable Diffusion 3 to fix some of the problems with that. But then Flux came out and essentially set a completely new bar for what you should do. And Stable Fusion 3.1 just never came out. They never told us anything. And it seemed like they completely scrapped that model and instead released this. One of their headline images that they're featuring here is this, which is quite funny, by the way, because, well, if you know the law, I guess, because with Stable Fusion 3, one of the main problems it had, or one of the main problem images that people were showing was a woman laying down on grass where it really just showed how bad Stable Diffusion 3 was at rendering people's anatomy. It was not very good. So with this, they're trying to flex now and be like, oh yeah, Stable Diffusion 3.5. We have women laying down on grass, okay? So this is this is a new era. So this is this is Stable Diffusion 5.0 level, basically, okay? Uh, and the prompt here is quite weird. They have like some hashtags plus a prompt, then they have like some tags and stuff. So quite interesting. It gives some more insight maybe into the, the prompting of Stable Diffusion here. Also, the text that you see, Stable Diffusion 3.5, that was not added in post. That was prompted. Maybe that wouldn't have been surprising if they were talking about Flux. But this is Stable Diffusion 3, which again, wasn't very good. The alternative images that you would get from Stable Diffusion 3 for this prompt, let's just say it left a lot to be desired. Okay, like, let's just say that. So they're releasing two models well they're releasing three models actually but right now they're releasing two models they have a stable diffusion 3.5 and stable diffusion 3.5 turbo stable diffusion 3.5 that's an 8 billion parameter model compared to flux flux right now is a 12 billion parameter model so it's smaller than flux flux is about 50 percent bigger than stable diffusion 3.5 but this is the same size as stable diffusion 3 so it's essentially a greater fine tune of stable diffusion 3 and Stable Diffusion Turbo is a distilled version of Stable Diffusion 3.5. This is more similar to Flux Schnell, which is the four step version of Flux that's faster. It seems like very much like the Flux release has heavily inspired what they're doing with Stable Diffusion 3. They're also promising Stable Diffusion Medium, which is going to be a 2 billion parameter model, which is more akin to the size of Stable Diffusion XL. So that would be interesting when it releases. So going through the post there, they talk about this. They talk about Stable Diffusion Lodge. That's the 8 billion parameter model. They talk about Stable Diffusion Turbo, which is the, the Schnell version, the, the model that's faster, more efficient, the distilled version of the model. And we have our famous uh, woman lying on the grass image here. Other important part is the license. Just so you know, the Stable Diffusion 3 license well, it was kind of garbage, okay? It was really, 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 really bad. There's a bunch of problems with it that made it where even if you were making, like, say, a dollar from uh, Stable Diffusion, you'd still have to pay money to stability. So you'd actually be paying them money despite not making any money yourself. So you could be paying them more money than you earned um, if you were making small amounts of money. With this change, they've changed it where you only have to pay them money if you're making more than a million dollars a year. So this is a significantly better license. And even if you're somebody that doesn't intend on using the model to make millions of dollars or whatever it is, it's still good because it means more people will be willing to use the model, more commercial people will be willing to use the model, so there'll be more investment into the model ecosystem. You have some other images that they showed. Again, these are images that are posted by Stability. I'm imagining they're going to cherry pick these images. Just so you know, I've tested Stable Diffusion 3.5 on my system myself. I would say the model is decent. It's better than Stable Diffusion 3, but I wouldn't exactly be singing its spray. It, it's, it's decent, okay? Better than Stable Diffusion 3, but not as good as Flux. So yeah, I'll make a more in-depth video comparing them uh, in the future. But for right now, I'd say it's it's okay. Okay, it's not garbage like Stable Diffusion 3 was, but it's not like, you know, saving the world or anything. These are some images that they show here, which are decent images. Another one, this is something, by the way, that they might be able to beat Flux on. Because Flux wasn't as good at generating uh, art styles and it wasn't as good at generating um, anime or cartoon type images. It felt that if you tried to generate those images with Flux, you were logic pigeonholed into a few styles. So this is something it has potential to beat Flux at being able to do. It might end up where the best anime models are Stable Diffusion 
three models and the best photorealistic models end up being flux models depending on how long this paradigm stays where no new flux model comes out and no new st stable diffusion model comes out i don't know that's a potential that could happen we can look at these images i would say disproportionately um compared to the other images these seem a lot better relative to what i've seen from flux you understand keep in mind when i was doing my testing with stable diffusion 3.5 myself i did not test anime type Im these sorts of images i did not test this sort of thing so i don't have good context for this um, but like, yeah, these look a lot better compared to what I know Flux can do. So yeah, I'm very excited for these sorts of images. So Stability released their own graph comparing themselves to the other models. And you can see this. And again, they're not really trying to hide stuff, I guess, here. If you look, they have Flux Dev here. And you can see that Flux aesthetic quality is actually higher than Stable Diffusion 3.5's aesthetic quality. Of course, the graph starts at about 940. So this does not start at zero. So that, that emphasizes the distance between these. But what they have here, the prompt adherence, they say that the prompt adherence on Stable Diffusion 3.5 is higher than Flux. Guys, I have only tested Stable Diffusion 3.5 for a little bit since it's released. I'm going to say that's a bit sus. That's what I'm going to I'm going to say that I call sus on that. Okay, that's all I'm going to say. Okay, that's a bit sus. I wouldn't exactly say that's what I've seen. Uh, haven't done in-depth testing as yet, but I'm just going to call sus on that. All right. Yeah. So this is what they have here. The aesthetic quality is definitely higher in Flux, though. I'll give them that. Uh, yeah. They have some other images. These are huge because this is the sort of thing that you can do with Flux. It's not impressive, I guess, if you use Flux. But the interesting thing you can see here is they have three potions. The first potion is blue with the word mana. And you can see that being shown here. The second potion is red with the word health. And you can see that here. And the third potion is green with the label poison. Again, that sort of prompting where it understands relative positioning and you could attach things like um color and words to specific parts of the image and have it understand that that is something that you couldn't do before flux released right <laughs> you could kind of do it with sd3 but the images you would get would be so bad that it just wasn't really worth it so seeing something like that is very interesting also we have this other image that has text baked into the image while also being stylized as well which again is very interesting for the overall um quality there the main feature they seem to be marketing for stable effusion 3.5 versus flux uh, which now becomes its competition i don't believe they were expecting this model to end up releasing which is why they probably pivoted is this right here easily fine-tune the model to meet your specific creative needs or build applications with based on customized workflows this is quite important one of the big things with flux is the fact that it's a distilled model makes it inherently harder to train as opposed to stable diffusion 3.5 at least the large version anyway that's just a straight model basically for those who don't understand flux is actually a distillation of the flux pro model which is a proprietary model released by black forest labs it means the flux model that you have isn't actually the the real model the real model is the flux pro model but this is a distillation of that model right and the, the process of distillation makes it where if you want to train flux directly you're going to have issues as of right now there have been a lot of inroads in training flux and people have largely gotten around things but there have been hiccups and issues and problems training the flux dev model absolutely so a big advantage that stable diffusion 3.5 is purporting to have is that it's going to be able to be trained easier and I'm, that might pan out it could be where flux might hit a ceiling in terms of what it can hit from a fine-tuning perspective and maybe stable diffusion 3.5 passes it i don't know but that's a that's a potential future that you could see there of course that all assumes that no major updates happen in the in between on the side of black forest labs but still they're also touting the performance here in my testing the model stable fusion 3.5 was faster than the flux model on my pc however the model is also smaller so the model should be expected to be around i think 40 percent or so faster just for the fact that it's smaller so I didn't see any speed increases that could not be explained by the model simply being smaller. So they talk about it being more optimized. I don't really know what that means. We'll see like when the 2 billion parameter version comes out, how big of a drop off we see in quality relative to the 3 billion parameter model. Cause that model will obviously be a lot faster. So we'll see how that goes. As of right now, I'm not exactly seeing anything that is crazy. 
Yeah, so Stable Diffusion 3.5, it immediately, as soon as it launched, was already supported by Comfy UI. So if you want to use this with Comfy UI, you could already do it. Uh, I'll release a video talking about that later, but it's relatively easy if you already have Comfy UI installed to get this up and running. So if you don't have Comfy UI installed, you can go and check my video on installing Comfy UI, and it should be relatively easy to figure it out from there. You just have to download the models. But I'll make a more in-depth video later. With Comfy UI, they're releasing a scaled version of the stable diffusion weight, which essentially is like a smaller version of the model that's more efficient. You're not seeing as big of a quality drop off. So this is something with Comfy UI that you definitely want to check out. This video is not meant to compare Flux and Stable Diffusion 3.5. However, I will be doing that just a little bit. Okay, not nothing. I only did preliminary tests. Okay, so take this with a grain of salt. So this was the first image I generated with Stable Diffusion 3.5 here, right? Um, I, and I just for reference, this exact same prompt leads to this image in Flux. So this is a Stable Diffusion 3.5 image. And this is the Flux image. So not exactly what I would call um, insane. You know what I mean? Not, not exactly, you know, like a, a new paradigm destroying uh, anything here. Um, yeah, and there were some other prompts that I tried as well. This one, for example, this is the SD 3.5 and this is the Flux version. Keep in mind, this was one of the, the better ones uh, from SD 3.5. And this is one of the worst ones from uh, Flux, I mean. So, but still, uh, yeah, this is what I was able to see here. You can see the difference between these two uh, images. I would say, guys, in general, it seems like Flux is a better image generator. SD 3.5 is decent. Uh, it has advantages regarding fine tuning. I think they already released some LoRa's for SD 3.5, so it looks like it could be very promising. So the future for SD 3.5 is probably brighter than the future for Flux, but the present, maybe not so much, okay? Uh, but it definitely is exciting that there is something new releasing from Stability, since I thought they just like completely threw in the towel and just gave up, it, it seemed like. But no, they're still here, guys. Guys, if you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I'll make a more in-depth comparison between SD 3 and Flux, I'll also make a better exploration of the SD 3.5 model uh, so you can understand better. Also, if you want to figure out how to get the model working on your own system, like you need help with that, I'll make a video about that as well. So subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. Uh, make sure to check out the other videos and yeah.